right, so here I am on my desktop, nothing at all being done. Now, as you can see, in my hand, I've got the Raspberry Pi on the left, USB cable on the right, USB-C cable on the right. To put this into the correct mode that we need it to be in, let's make sure that cable is in right. Yep. All we have to do, that white button there that we can see, that one, what we're going to do is simply press and hold that button while we insert our USB cable. So I'm going to press it, hold it down, insert my cable, and we should see that drive pop up on the PC. Perfect. There we go. Now that drive has popped up, I'm going to show you guys the next step, which is to download the actual firmware, copy it onto the drive, download Thunny, and get everything up and running. So now with my Raspberry Pi Pico connected to my PC, you can actually go into this like you would a memory stick or a drive, and you'll see two files in here, info underscore UF2, and you'll see index. If you double click on index, once you're connected to the internet, it's going to take you to the Raspberry Pi website. And from here, you can actually go ahead and download the files you need. But I'm going to simply Google UF2 file Pi Pico. Google that. It's going to take you to this very first website here that says micropython.org. Click on that. You're going to scroll down and where it says firmware, I'm going to go to releases. You can use nightly bills. These are like test bills that they release so people can test it and give feedback. But I want something relatively stable. Let me zoom in. So I am going to go to where it says release. Now, if you click on the right where it says release notes, that's going to do something else. What you want to click on is on the left where it says a uh, version. Well, today's date is the 20th of the 10th, 2022. I'm going to click on version 1.19.1. .1. Whatever your most recent version is, click on that. That's going to start downloading. Now I'm using Chrome. So if I click on the up arrow here and I go show in folder, this takes me to my downloads folder. So I'm going to minimize my browser, have my downloads folder on the right and have my Raspberry Pi Pico on the left. Now, all I have to do is to drag and drop this single file onto the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you copy and paste it, it does the same thing as well. So I'm going to click on hold and drag it across, drag it across, drag it across. And it's only when I'm on this section here, I'm going to then let go. It's going to start copying that file and this should then close down. Yep, that's now been programmed, ready for me to actually start programming Python or MicroPython on there. Now, before I can start doing MicroPython, I need to download the Thonny, T-H-O-N-N-Y, the Thonny IDE. I'm going to go back to my browser. I'm going to open a new tab and type Thonny, T-H-O-N-N-Y. I'm going to put this in the description so you guys can go find it as well. Thonny IDE for beginners. I'm going to go to Windows because that's the system I have. If you have something else, obviously you go to that. If you move your mouse over your operating system, it pops up with a window and you can select which version you want to download straight away. I am on Windows. If you're on Mac, do the same for Mac and do the same for Linux. I'm going to go over to Windows, click on where it says Thunny 4.0.1 executable. Uh, that's a 64 bit version and it has Python 3.10. I'm going to click on that. That's going to again start downloading. That shouldn't take too long, should be about a minute for most people. And once that's finished, I'm going to click on that and install Thunny. That's now finished. I'm going to click on that. It's going to come up with this thing here. Install for me only or install for all users. I'm just going to do install for all users. I'm the only person that uses this PC, so it doesn't really matter for me. Now, you guys might not be able to see what's on my screen, but it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to select yes, and you need to do the same. It's going to pop up with this window. Let me just minimize this. I'm going to go next. I accept the terms and conditions. Next. Uh, that's a fine location for me. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Click next. And yeah, click next again. Create desktop icon. No, I don't need that. So I'm just going to click next and install. This shouldn't take too long for most people. It's a very tiny program, about 20 megabytes. But you do get Python 3.10 installed as well. Now that's been done. I can click on finish. And I need to go to start. So my start menu, I'm going to simply click on where it says Thunny here. Just to make sure everything is OK, I'm going to unplug my Raspberry Pi and plug it back in just to make sure that it's still not in the other mode it, it was in before. Unplugged. Plugged it back in. Perfect. English standard. Let's go. 
and this is the Thunny IDE installed and ready to go. There is one thing that we have to do. As it stands now, this is the normal Python just for Windows and Mac. This is not for the Raspberry Pi. You're going to want to change it from Python 3 to MicroPython. And the way we do this, you click on the bottom right hand corner where it says Thunny Python. Click on that. It's going to come up with a list of things. And all you need to click on is where it says MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico COM5 for me. Your COM port is just a USB port it's linked to. Your COM port most likely will be different. Mine is COM5, yours might be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It really doesn't matter. Just click on the one that it corresponds to. It's now reloaded and we are connected to the Raspberry Pi. We could do a quick test if you want. I could do print hello, press enter see if that runs now this is running on the actual raspberry pi pico not on my pc so that's how you set up the raspberry pi pico download and install funny and configure funny just so it works with the raspberry pi pico and that's it there's nothing else that needs to be done this is also how you just simply test if everything is working fine this is being run on the raspberry pi pico itself this is a simple hello world program works fine